Well, here we go. Another trip into the Black Hills over on the Wyoming side. And I'm getting ready to put this random wire up in that tree right there. I think that'll be a good one. I'll have it up high enough so that if anybody goes down this road, they won't get tangled in it. Got a beautiful spot here. There's some smoke from the fires in California, but yeah, you can see past those trees over there. Boy, yeah, can't see very far, maybe a couple of miles. So I'm gonna put my antenna up in this tree. And that looks like it's about 50 feet. I've got a different grain blank for this antenna launcher. It's the high, it's the red. I believe that's the high. And I think the yellow that I'm using right now today is the low. So I haven't tried the red yet. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. I mean, this shoots it up so high it, it can get away from me. Mr. B's in the camper. He really wanted to come outside, but this thing hurts his ears. Heck, it hurts my ears, and I use the plugs. Better get a good spot here. Let's try to get it right over the center of that tree. Ah, missed it. Okay, there's a little bit of wind, and it'll carry this thing. So. Try to wait for the perfect moment. Yep, that's a good shot. Caught the edge of it. That's good enough for that. That random wire. Yeah, that'll work fine. Okay, man, I yeah. I thought uh, I was gonna be able to stretch it out pretty tight, but it's not gonna not gonna do that for me. Uh, let's see. There we go. I'm gonna sag in there a little bit, but what are you gonna do? I could pull it over, tighten it up. I don't think it going across that limb is gonna be a big deal. There. Uh, that's that's better. Yeah, this uh, construction string's okay, but man, it it's a pain sometimes, and it is disposable. So when I'm done with this, when I'm done here, I just throw it away. I think I'm gonna get some more diving line, and. Uh, Better wrap it around a tree. There might be some cows coming through here. The cows will pick up on this stuff. They'll pick up on it and drag it off into the forest. Okay. Let's uh, let's give it a try. See what happens. That's a 1 to 64 un un from uh, another ham on eBay. He makes them and and I've got his 9 to 1 and a couple of other ones that I've been using and they uh, work really good. I've just got to pay attention to what he says in the, the description, what length of wire that he says works for him. Because if I start deviating too far off of it, I run into trouble. And that's a 64 foot wire. So let's see what it does. Okay, well I've got that random wire out and it's 64 feet. It's hooked into a 1 to 64 un un. And I'm using my mini 60 here and I've got the PC hooked up to it through the cable. And I'm just running a scan on 40 meters and I hope you can hope you can see that. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, the center is at 7050, 7.050. And it's, yeah, uh, 2.68 at that frequency. 
and then the minimum SWR is at 7.340. 20 right here and see what happens. Center frequency is 14.270. And I'm going to make it 14.200. See what happens. Okay, well it's going down. Uh, yeah, the minimum minimum SDR SWR is at fourteen two eighty, and it's two point two five. Yeah, this little thing is one of the best little tools I've bought for ham radio, especially portable use. And uh, it's just a, it's just a good little tool. And I normally don't use the software; I just use the device here, and uh, and it works just fine.